hi there welcome back in this lecture you will be learning the new name change for Microsoft Azure Active Directory this product we also used to call as AADR Azure AD this has been completely renamed to Microsoft Entra or Entra ID so this Microsoft Entra is a new name for Azure AD and it has its own product family uh, where you have some of the products related to the identity and network access solutions so i would be you know, discussing in a couple of minutes about more detail about the identity and network access solutions what are those products all of them but just to let you know that microsoft intra is the new name for azure ad and if you could closely notice microsoft azure AD has been replaced with Entra and if you are trying to use in the previously AAD in a short this has been uh, not increased to use as short acronym due to the space limitations however if you want to use you can use ME hyphen ID but Microsoft is not encouraging to use similar to AAD or ME ID so these are the couple of products falls under Microsoft Entra family like Microsoft Entra ID. It's nothing but managing your user IDs and groups. And this is for your uh, communicating with your external identities and uh, internet access specific and governance specific to automatically achieve the complaints and regulatory information for your IDs identities for your access all of that can be you know managed with microsoft entra id governance in the past we used to call as for governments as you ready for governments now they have come up with entra id governance which has a different plans again and also uh, microsoft entra private access uh, this is the additional identity solution to achieve the zero trust network access and these are the couple of other products that are part of microsoft Entra family and if you could you know notice or pinpoint to the exact product list these are the categories three categories we could define Microsoft Entra product family like identity and access management which falls three of these identity solutions one in the past we used to call as Microsoft Azure AD now we call this as the Entra ID and uh, Microsoft Azure AD for government we used to call now it's called Entra ID governance and we also have Entra external ID and for the ID categories you also have verified ID and Entra permissions management Entra workload ID for the network uh, access specific internet access and private access these are the couple of uh, products that falls under Microsoft Entra family product family and now if you're quite uh, new or uh, these are the direct changes uh, let's say azure ad in the past we used to call now we call it as a microsoft entra but if it is a free we call it here entra id free and the premium one we used to call as the uh, azure ad premium one we used to call now it's called microsoft entra id p1 uh, and if you, you know just uh, remember in the past we also used to call Azure AD P2 it's nothing but a P stands here premium now here enter ID P2 so these are the things that are built in with E3 and E5 here it remains the same thing there's no change on that uh, plan or the pricing part and we also have the uh, Azure AD external identities now we call this as a Microsoft Entra external ID. So this has been actually uh, announced um, in the July 11th, 2023. And uh, as a name change, later point Microsoft has incorporated starting from October 1st, 2023. Now you could also make a note that Azure AD tenant, we call this as Microsoft Entra tenant. And Azure AD account, we call it as Entra account. And these are the logo changes so instead of these two it just represent as one logo and since the name change if you ask some of the capabilities names also got changed for example in the past we used to call as the 
as your AD conditional axis. Now it's nothing but the intra conditional axis. Similarly, we also used to call Azure AD single sign on. Now it's called Microsoft intra single sign on. If I pull up this Microsoft page, which is also available as the bookmark for the resource in this lecture, you could see that Microsoft has renamed this Azure AD to Microsoft Entra ID uh, in a better way to you know, communicate for your multi-cloud, multi-platform. Uh, because, you know, in the past, most of the people, at least few of them, are used to confuse because of the Active Directory, which was adding uh, after Azure. They used to you know, get confused with your on-premises Active Directory. So Microsoft thought that they wanted to you know, unify their entire cloud-based identity with a new branding name called Microsoft Entra. And they also renamed the entire product family. And there's no uh, major pricing changes or licensing changes. It's just the name change and the logo changed. But there are a couple of things that are not even changing. For example, Active Directory. Yes, this comes from your on-premises Windows servers, so there's no changes on that. And of course, there are uh, Things like you know PowerShell commandlets, uh, which consist of your Azure AD. At this point of time in 2024, it's not even changed. But sooner, it would definitely change to Microsoft Intra uh, for sure. But at this point of time, the PowerShell commandlets are not even changed. You could always uh, locate this documentation, which is available within this resource lecture. That would you know definitely help you to you know better understand. In case if you're referring to the Microsoft uh, licensing or SQs, these are the you know some of the changes that you could you know go through this documentation. Uh, for example, premium P2 we used to call it now it's just the intra P2, and added by a student students remains the same. And the, there's no other change other than the branding and the naming. And these are the some of the changes that you could you know very clearly look into this table. Always you know go back to the referencing to this naming, uh, like you know. Economy, in this case AAD, referred as ME-ID. We told that this is not an official, easy, not easy to you know say. So Microsoft is not encouraging to use this short names. To conclude this lecture, Microsoft Azure AD is completely renamed. Only the name has been renamed to Microsoft Entra, and your identity has been that the user accounts, uh, which are replaced with IT. And there is no feature changes and across the Microsoft platform this name has been almost representing uh, including in other documentation however of course there are some of places it's not still replicating or not showing as the Microsoft Entra but it's just a time gap I would say in a few more days a few more months upcoming it completely changes with a new naming standard and also in the past, you used to type as aad.portal.azure.com, which is now redirecting to enter.microsoft.com. So this is the new URL. I would always encourage you to you know make a note or bookmark. Other than that, there's no change. As you could see that Microsoft Azure Active Directory Admin Center has been renamed to Enter Admin. Thank you for watching this. I'll catch you in the next lecture.